Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Apocalyptic monsoons taking place in South Asia, India, Bangladesh, Nepal. Incredible monsoon rains. 630 people are dead. It is apocalyptic. Let me tell you all about it. First, let me put a shout out real fast to Virtual Shield, virtualshield.com. That's www.virtualshield.com. There's a news just released. States, several VPNs that didn't have a no log policy revealed the browsing activity and personal information of over 20 million users. Guys, that's why you got to have Virtual Shield. Those that care about privacy need a VPN with a strict no log policy to prevent this. That's why I choose Virtual Shield because it's good. And Virtual Shield has a strict no log policy. Their network is fast, reliable, secure, and always available. Matter of fact, due to the recent pandemic, Virtual Shield is offering uh, its services for 50% off to help customers in need to protect themselves as well as a free 30-day trial. Just go to www.virtualshield.com and click on the link and let the video description box and let them explain it to you how good this is. My son who lives in Japan has the virtual shield. He said, dad, this is awesome. Nothing ever gets through. I'm protected. And, uh, and you know, he's even in another country. So virtualshield.com, that's www.virtualshield.com. Now here's what's going on. This apocalyptic, and that's the, the headline, and unprecedented monsoon floods. I told you guys this is going there's going to be blood moons, monsoons, typhoons, lagoons, baboons, pontoons, everything is going to be thrown out of whack during this time and season we're in as we're in the beginning of sorrows according to Matthew 24. But apocalyptic unprecedented monsoon floods across South Asia killing Unfortunately, horrible. Pray for this, these people. 630 people are dead. 17.5 million people have, have had their homes destroyed. At least 300,000 acres of crops have been wiped out. And they've already got, we've already got issues with locusts that's eating tons of crops. So this is unprecedented monsoons. They've never seen anything like it. I know it's monsoon season, but 2020 is insane, unprecedented, apocalyptic. That is the words from the Secretary of Agriculture over there in India. Since the onset of the monsoon season, 17.5 million people have been affected, millions displaced, more than 630 killed, by major floods in India, Bangladesh, and Nepal. How they need our prayers. Monsoon floods are robbing millions of people of their homes and livelihoods and mounting the risk of more deadly disease outbreak and pandemics and plagues after the waters slowly recede. And uh, half of Bangladesh's districts are underwater leaving nearly one million families stranded and cut off from their villages. Half the nation, half the nation. Uh, uh, this is one of the biggest monsoon floods we have ever faced. It's the worst, maybe yet is still to come. We're not done. And we face growing risk of malaria, dengue fever, diarrhea, as well as a worsening bloody pandemic. Uh, flooding and landslides in Nepal have left 200 people dead or missing. And in India, almost 12 million people are affected by the floods, mainly in the northern states of, of India. Now, good news is our Sammy, Reverend Sammy and our, our, our uh, the, all the evangelists and all the kids up there, our folks are safe right now. So thank God for that. But um, uh, according to the situation reports uh, published by the Ministry of Home Affairs Disaster Management Division on August 4th, over a half a million people have been affected by the floods 
and 19 people had died in a little place called Bilahar. Also, 1,118 villages have been affected. Try to put that in perspective. 1,118 villages. And in India, a village is a lot of people, okay? Uh, because remember, India is a nation of 1.4 billion in a, in a country the size of Texas. So this is huge. Uh, a total of 440,507 people have been evacuated. 38 relief centers have been opened. They're overrun. Now there's relief camps and refugee camps that are currently housing 28,664 people. And most of the people are just wandering around the streets now, homeless, trying to figure out how they're going to scrape up or get any kind of thing to eat with families and everything. This is a, a, a horrible situation. Um, in, the, in, in the district of Hassam, uh, 6 million people in 30 different districts have been affected by the monsoon floods. 107 are dead from the flooding-related accidents. 26 others have been buried in landslides and can't be even dug up. And 5,000 villages, think about this, have been affected in the state. 81,000 people have been evacuated there. 626 relief camps have been opened, as well as a lot of refugee camps currently housing 156,874 people. Disaster after disaster after disaster. And then, and I, you guys, as you know, I was in India just two years ago, uh, and it was tough. And I was there in May, just before the monsoon seasons, when the temperatures were around 110 or whatever, but the humidity is so high there you can't breathe. The thing is, the poverty there and the, and the situation. Pray for the people there in that entire part of the world. Bangladesh, Nepal, India, as we're having unprecedented monsoons. But this is what the Bible said was coming. There'll be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts will fail them for fear for looking after those things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall we see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your heads. Your redemption is drawing nigh. And it really is. But until he comes, there will be a lot of suffering and persecution and disaster. Are you saved?